I, I spoke a little bit earlier about capital projects. There are some things that I don't think we need to be doing right now, uh, animal shelter being one. Uh, I would freeze staffing at its current levels. I would uh, look into restructuring the, the debt. Again, we talked about that. Uh, possibly selling some mass city assets, uh, parkland, maybe a little bit. Uh, small across the board cuts to all departments, one or two percent. Those are all things we could look at doing to save money. Thank you. Julie? Well, I definitely think we should start with some non-essential services within the city. Um, obviously, police and fire are um, necessary and essential for a safe and uh, welcoming environment. Um, I'm much more um, inclined to go with the small across the board cuts. Um, I think every city office that we've had um, has an opportunity to save in one small way or one larger way or another. So. Um, I'm much more inclined to take the across the board approach than I am to just blanketly cut um, a particular program. Thank you. Douglas? Did hope. <laughs> oh, is that it, Douglas? No. I'll elaborate a little bit. We have a very lean uh, city staff here, and they're working, they're just as tight as they can be. They're working very hard with short staff. There's a lot of positions that haven't been filled. And I think what we have to do is just go find some efficiencies that haven't been identified, find some savings, some things that we can work out. If we could find one or two percent, that would actually balance the budget. We wouldn't have to dip into the reserves for that. One thing that I would definitely look into that we have done, and the, the goal is, is admirable, and that is, is restoring older buildings in some of our older neighborhoods because we're able to get some government financial monies for that. But I'm not sure it's 100% sustainable when we spend $178,000 to buy a house that we sell for $78,000. Um, the, the goal is admirable. I think the finances stink. Thank you. Thank you. Brian? Uh, well, I agree with Jerry. I, I think we need to look very closely at, at capital projects, many of those in the millions of dollars. Um, I, <clears throat> we should also review uh, restructuring the debt. If if it was uh, that money was borrowed at high rates, we we could certainly uh, save a lot of money on that. And uh, uh, the something like the Humane Society building, uh, I don't know. I, I guess something like that. I just need a lot more information um, about what it costs, about how they propose to finance it. Um, just to, uh, but projects like that, we, we have to look long and hard at. Thank you. Sam? Thank you. Uh, well, I think it would be irresponsible for any of us to promise, well, these are the top three things I would cut from the budget. Um, I think every year uh, it's circumstantial. Uh, I think, uh, you know, the, the city is doing a lot more with a lot less. Uh, we have the exact same number of firefighters as we did 32 years ago, in 33 years ago, 1980. We had 80 firefighters then. We have 80 now. Our population was 40,000 then. It's almost 64,000 now. Um, so the fact that we still have the same number of folks helping protect us from fires and respond to our 911 calls, I think, um, is very admirable. Um, and so I think uh, we already have a very lean bu uh, budget. Uh, you know, I'd like to see us get out of certain businesses with the city. I'd like to see us eventually someday if it becomes profitable again possibly sell some of our golf courses to a private entity to, to run those um, and also the uh, the Oak Hill Cemetery uh, we're running that um, you know right now we got a special buy one get the second one half off um, so I think there's some things that city does, the government does well uh, and some things I don't think we should be involved with at all thank you thank you Dwayne I'm not sure I follow up with that last statement Sam, so I need an extra two seconds you know the question what to cut is a presumed upon that everything we're doing is correct and it's the most efficient. I think the question's got to be, what are we doing and are we doing it the most efficient? And then it goes to, why stop at three? Why stop at three? Like, there's a lot of things that we can restructure, redo for the city. But just to say there's three things to cut, I think there's a lot. How are we delivering services to our community using the tools, again, that 
our citizens have contributed to. And let's meet the needs that our citizens say they want to have met. I think we'll be very surprised that we can meet those needs. And we can do it for less than what we're doing right now. 